being here. We know that you have some like, you know, eye issue, but okay, before you go to to tour with Ace, um, we're talking like off the record. I was like, you know, you're kind of like the man, you're like uh, the dream come true to all like kids fans. You play with Gene, yeah. with, with, now we play with Ace. Um, how that happened? How that even happened? Yeah, it's it's weird because, you know, like you were, I've been a KISS fan my whole life. So growing up, I always loved KISS. And uh, I had my own band for years. I had a record deal and, you know, was able to tour the world and release records and that kind of thing. And then in the process, you know, you tend to meet a lot of people involved in the music industry. And then you start to perform with those people. And that's, you know, not just the other you know, recording artists, but their managers and their publicists and their agents and all that kind of stuff. Right. And you kind of become part of that inner circle. And just as that happens, the more you get involved, the more people you meet. Right. And that kind of led me to perform on the Kiss Cruise uh, one year and then um, the next year and then the next year and then the next year. And then, uh, you know, I just got Gene's attention. Right. And when he wanted to go out and do the uh, his solo tour, he asked me if I would be in his solo band. And that's how the whole thing started with Gene and Ace. You know, right. it was just, it, I wasn't trying to make it happen. Like I wasn't doing the whole thing to try to get in the band with Gene. But like I said, this the networking of all those years of playing and stuff. You eventually meet all these people right. and your name kind of gets thrown around and people see you. And that's how I wound up playing with Gene in the first place. So it worked out in my favor. I wasn't even expecting it. Right. And, and it blow your mind, I believe. <laughs> yeah. I can all imagine. Really, yeah. Yeah, and how yeah, working with him? Because you know uh, we all have that that perspective of him being so correctly, so you know, like workaholic. Right. And yeah. how is actually working with him? Working with him is great. I'll tell you. I've told, I've mentioned this a lot of times. Everybody knows that he's a workaholic. Right. Uh, he would much rather work all the time than ever go on vacation or anything. And that doesn't mean he doesn't like to have a good time, but. I think he actually has the best time one when, when he's with his family. Right. Uh, and, you know, and they're able to travel with him a lot as much as they want to, you know, and number two, uh, he's, he's happiest. I think when he's working and when he's, when he can work with his family around, I think he really loves that. But working is his favorite thing. Right. Um, you know, he gets a lot of joy out of accomplishing things. Um, that being said, he's, you know, just the nicest person and I've enjoyed working with him so much. He's always just really grateful. Uh, he's very funny. Uh, he's really self-deprecating. He's not afraid to make fun of himself, you know, which right. I think is a lot of fun. And uh, he's very complimentary. He says, you know, he treats, he treats us very, very well. And uh, it's just a lot of fun to, to work with him. And ever we, we travel together a lot. Uh, you know, when we're on, when we're out doing shows, we're together all day, every day. Right, and it's a yeah. lot of fun. Do you get do you get a chance to come down here to Argentina to play? Right. Uh, let's see. When we did that, it was back in at least about I would say at least three years ago, right? Uh, two thousand eighteen, I think it was. About Probably. nineteen, I think that was about the time. Yeah. 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 About three years ago. Yeah, you did that show. We, no, we five years. It. No, five years ago. Oh, was it five? Well, I mean, 20, 20 and 21, it doesn't count because the, the whole COVID situation was like, you know. Right. No, no, no. I thought you meant the last time we were there. Yeah, last time you were here. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, that would have been that would have been 18 or 19. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Probably 18. Probably 18. So what, what's yeah. your memory of like playing here? It was the first time here, right? For you guys. Yeah. 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 Associated with him. Uh, just it was a lot of fun because you know we were excited to be there because it's always fun to go play other parts of the world just because right. it's so different you know uh seeing new seeing and meeting new people playing for different audiences uh seeing new music venues to play in and that kind of stuff and plus just playing for kiss fans is always fun right. in general but one of the things that we loved about visiting there was the crowds were so loud and just so passionate you know and you know, a lot of a lot of concerts when you play somewhere, the crowd will sing along to the words to the different songs, right? Right. And they'll sing along to the chorus of a particular song. But when we got there, they even sing along. You guys even sing along to like the guitar solo, like every note, <laughs> or the opening riff to the song, every note. And to hear 
thousands of voices singing along, singing like the the notes to Detroit Rock City solo or the the riff to the beginning of Deuce. So to hear the whole crowd sing that was just insane. We loved it. There really are no other parts of the world that do that. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, a crowd here is like, you know, it's a little crazy, especially with bands like kids, yeah. you know? Yeah, 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 we love it. A lot of uh, fun. Ryan, question. Um, hanging out with Gene so much, um, and you're in the band, actually, you know, came across with, like, being like, hey, Gene, I have this riff for, like, you know, I have this idea for a song, or that, isn't, that didn't even right. come out. Never came up. It never came up because, and I'll tell you the reason why, we knew when we went out with Gene, uh, his mission was not to go out to write new music with the solo band. It wasn't to uh, get ready to rehearse for a new record as a solo band. He wanted to go out and do Kiss songs in a, in a, in a more intimate, relaxed environment than a, than a full-on Kiss show. Right. And also, though, be able to do a lot of Kiss songs that Kiss doesn't ever play. I don't play, right. You know, so that that doesn't mean, I have no idea if Gene ever wants to do any more, record any more solo music. I'd love it if he did, but I don't know. We've never discussed it. Right. Uh, but, you know, I think in lieu of doing original music when we were out with him, the fun part was playing stuff like Charisma and right. Got Love for Sale and Almost Human are you ready? It's my you, guys play, you guys play Are You Ready from the vault set. Well, the, the yeah, huge are you ready? And, and It's My Life. Right, and It's My Life. Yeah, true. From true. the box set. And that's stuff that Kiss has never done. Maybe they will, you know, in the future. Right. But, uh, you know, just getting him to do stuff like that that Kiss had never done before. Radioactive. Right. Yeah, they hadn't done that since, like, the Dynasty Tour. Yeah. Uh, besides that, how many songs you have already written for him waiting for the the opportunity you know they'd be okay <laughs> like, I have like a thousand, you know? oh yeah uh, that would be great I i'm ready to do that if he ever wants to see <laughs> yeah. yeah okay well now we have gene and then you're working with ace how, how that position like because i believe like even like ace whatever people think about ace i know for a fact that he's uh, actually another uh, workaholic as well and a different kind of animal, though. Uh, yeah. Has it has okay, first? The question will be like, you know, how you ended up playing with him? Like, I mean, the whole yeah. band, you know, the the, sure. the full the full jeans band now is with Ace. And how's that 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 process? And how is being working with him? Uh, Ace is a lot of fun too. Uh, they're totally different in the fact. I'll tell you, Gene is always on the move, always moving, bam, 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 touring, right. running all around the world. And, and what keeps him busy is not only music, but also different business ventures, stuff right. that has nothing to do with music, right? And obviously Kiss. Right. Ace, the way he keeps busy is we are touring, but something that you've noticed is, uh, you know, Ace puts out a lot of records. Right. Ace does a lot of solo records. Like every year, Ace is always, if he's not doing touring, doing tour dates, he has a home studio and he's always at home working on music for what's going to be his next record, you know? Right. And that's what keeps him busy. Uh, I, I know that he loves being in the studio. He loves it, you right. know? Uh, I don't know if he loves it more than playing live, but it's just something that he does a lot. If he's not touring live, he's in his home studio getting ready to make another record. Right. And so that keeps him really busy. I mean, I think he, he's happiest when he's playing guitar. Right, it seems thing. like he needs to be like in the studio, right? Yeah, and that's why he has a studio in his home. Right. Like we actually rehearsed there uh, last year before the Alice Cooper tour. Right. We all went, we all went to Ace's, uh, uh, the city Ace lives in, um, and we rehearsed at his house for a week in his home studio before we went out with Alice Cooper. Right. So he's got a nice studio that he can rehearse in, that he can make records in, that he can do everything. So... He loves it down there. It's really nice. <laughs> uh, what, what is the idea? I mean, like, there's another origin volume three, or is like the idea of like recording a, you know a new original album? Like original I don't songs. know. Oh, I, I don't know. Don't, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, volume two, or Origins volume two was the last one, which you know yes. about, and we played on that, on some of it. Uh, and then this new record, 
honestly, I have no idea if it's originals or if it's a origins volume three. I don't know. All I know is that he's been in there recording what he's been recording. I have no idea. Oh, uh, you, you're not you're being part of this recording. Not that I know of, but you never know. Like <laughs> on the last record, on the last record, uh, us being on it was an idea that came at the last minute. Right. So when I thought that record was already done, that's when he called and said, hey, will you guys be on it? So, so it was a surprise to us. <laughs> right. Well, which is that was awesome for you. I mean, uh, yeah, I know just to be on a record with Ace is just, you know, awesome. Right. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask you is like, as a Kiss fan, what the whole perspective of, that you have about like the, this end of the, the road to in the road? I, I, in my particular opinion, I saw the, the show here in Argentina and I've yeah. been like to every single show, right? To every single, I, I think it was like 13 or 12 shows here in Argentina. I've been there, like even in the TV show back, back in the 90s. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That kind of freak. That's great. And this particular show to me was one of the greatest, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah. So what is your opinion? I love it. Uh, I'll tell you what it reminded me of is um, let's just start with the production. We'll yeah. talk about the music in a minute. Let's talk, just talk about the production. So do you remember how the show opened on the end of the road tour? Like the curtain drops yeah. and they're coming down from the ceiling the, the, and the, by ceiling. all the, yeah. and the smoke and the pyrotechnics and the drum riser. And then that, I loved it so much seeing that it reminded me of when I was a little boy in uh, 1977, yeah. opening a live two. Yeah, exactly. And I love that they captured the spirit of that and wanted to continue the spirit and the legacy of the band in that way. Because, you know, a lot of concerts you go to, they come out with a big bang, but they save the best for last, like the, right. the biggest production for the... Yeah, and sure. for Kiss to come out like that and open the show that way, it's just like this is going to be a great night. Yeah, this is going to be a great, this is going to be a great night because if they're starting with this, I can't wait to see what they do, you know, for the rest of the night. Right. And uh, I just really love the production. I think it looked great. Uh, you know, just the size of it and the enormity of the whole thing. It's just perfect because it's Kiss. That's what you expect Kiss to, right. to look totally. like. So, and they sound see. great though. They do, yeah. They really do. Who cares if they, they use like tape recording or whatever or, or sing, like the, right. the whole package is great. It's like going to the theater, right. isn't it? it? It really is. And you know, and you mentioned you know how, how great they sound. They really do. And it, it's uh and it's just perfect because it's them taking control of the situation and making sure that you're gonna get everything that you want out of that night in every city. Right. Right. You know. And I, I think that's awesome. Um, one question about that, like you being so close of, you know, the two kids' wars, I mean, Jim sure. for one side and I for one side, there is like a rumor of like the very, very last show, like Ace or yeah. Peter, like, you know, jumping yeah. a lead for like yeah. one last show. Is that even yeah. a rumor that is, happy, is that doable? That's not going to happen. You have no idea. You don't want to talk about it. It's a little, little I have no idea. Okay. I have no idea. Uh, I'm happy to talk about it. Uh, I can tell you that I would like to see it. Right. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I've never talked to Gene about it. He's never talked to me about it. I've never talked to Ace about it. Uh, I know about that as much as you do. Right. And meaning I know what I've read about it in the press. Right. And everything is a rumor right now. I can't confirm or deny anything because I just don't know. I would be... For me to give you an answer to say I knew one way or the other, I'd be lying. Right. <laughs> I don't want to lie. You can only push it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. right. I don't want to be a bullshit. <laughs> I don't want to be. Uh, but I will tell you this. Just like you, I'm pretty sure that all the KISS fans, I'd like to see everybody that was involved, you know, Ace and Peter, right. uh, like that. My heart of hearts tells me that those two guys would like to be involved to come out for a song, the last thing. Right. Uh, as a fan, I would like it, but I will tell you, 
the one thing I've learned about working with everybody is to stay in my lane and it's none of my business. I can oh, wish totally, on it. Totally. You know, totally. I always have to be very careful just because we do have, have work and do work with some of the guys in the band. I always want to make it very clear that I don't know anything except what I'm told to do. <laughs> right. No, totally. I've been, I've been talking with Bruce Kulik the, the other day for, for, you know, the interview for a for magazine. And yeah, it seems like everybody's like having their phone open just in case, you know, like yeah. he, like even Bruce, like he was like, yeah. I don't know. I have no idea, but it would be nice. You know, if it's yeah. like something is going to happen, it, it has to happen that, that show, that particular show, the, the very last show, which is yeah, great I can, as a fan. I can definitely imagine that, that Bruce would love, would be thrilled to be involved. Right. You know, as he's, you know, which, which would be great. The fans would love it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ray, um, were you part of the um, Creatures Fest? Yes. Oh, what was your opinion about that? It was so weird. Yeah. I mean, to be honest yeah. with you, I, I don't know for the people who actually went there, which I believe that being there was a, such a different animal. For, from the outside, yeah. from the from the YouTube videos or whatever that leaks, it, it feels weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I was involved. I played with Ace. Uh, we played, uh, I think it was the first night of the event. The event was three nights and we played the yeah. first night. Um, I live in Nashville. Right. Okay. That's where the event was held was in Nashville. So my house was only, is only 15 minutes from where the event took place. Right. Uh, that being said, I came home a lot. Like I went for sound check and then I came home. Then I went back for the show that night and then I came home. I missed, I didn't see a lot of the shows. I saw a little bit of Bruce. I didn't see any of Vinny. Um, but I will tell you, I'm with you in the sense that I, I know that people seem to really enjoy it. Uh, oh, no, totally, they, love totally. Vinny, they love seeing Bruce. Uh, the whole Vinny thing was a bit strange to me because right. I heard, uh, you know, he started playing before they let people in and you weren't, you know, you weren't supposed to take pictures of him or do videos of him or right. anything. It was, it was very strange. As strange as it was, I know people really enjoyed it, but I didn't watch many. I wasn't sure. there. I, 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 uh, I missed it. I decided I was home for a few days, so I might as well do the show and come home. So I was back and forth, <laughs> but I heard it was a lot of fun, but yeah, I'm with you. I think it was, it seemed a bit strange, just all, all the fact that there was Don't do this. Don't do that. You can't see this. You can't right. do that. Especially now, like, you know, where everybody has a phone and a camera and, and a recording, like, it's so weird to, not to do it. But I think that for one hand, people were happy that actually Vinny shows yeah. up, which is, like, great yeah. that he shows up. Um, and But the other hand, I mean, the whole show was promoted, like, he was trying to recreate the Rio show in 1983 right. and nothing of that right. happened. Actually, Ace mentioned like he made a joke, which I thought was great. He's like, I can play whatever do, but just give me a fucking drummer or something like that, he said, which I thought was great. <laughs> I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That's just that. like 100% April, like that. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, I will tell you, I, I, I did see the tank. I saw the production. It, I saw it earlier in the day. It looked, it, it was great. It was huge. It looked really cool. Uh, you know, I heard Vinny stood up on the tank the whole time. Right. Uh, I thought it was a little weird. Like I know Bruce played and Ace played. I thought it was a little weird that Vinny never came down and joined them and played with them. Right. That he stayed up on top of the thing the whole time. It's yeah, like. That was weird. Eh. Well, at least he shows up. At least he showed up. And All right. People seem to enjoy it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I hope that everybody involved had a good time. And, and uh, everybody that I saw seemed like they looked like they were having a great time. So that's oh, the big yeah, point. Totally. I mean, being there is a totally different animal. For, oh, yeah. You know, for us, watching them from outside, I was like, dude, you know, it's weird. Can you even walk? Yeah. You know, it seems like the guy is like standing there, kind of like Mick Marks kind of thing, you know? Oh, oh Right, right. Uh, Ryan, two more questions. I will let you go. I know you only have like sure. four minutes. I don't want to keep you busy. Sure. No um, problem. First of all, we're going to talk about like, you know, the, the tour that you're heading right, right now in a minute. But I wanted to ask you about like the Talisman, you know, the band yeah. that you guys together. Uh, yeah. Is that like a cover thing? You guys like playing to record something? 
By the way, I love that T-shirt that is like been around. I love that. It's oh, great. great. It's so Thank like you. so seventies, so kids seventies. Great. It is. It's seventies, isn't it? That's yeah. what we were trying to do. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, no, you know what happened? So it's Philip Schaus, Jeremy Asbrock, and I. Uh, we were Jeans Band, right? right? Then Ace's Band, and people started recognizing the three of us from being in both of those bands and starting asking us to do different events. So on our own. Right. So we would just go play acoustically sometimes and we would just do all, all kiss songs. Right. Acoustic. Since it was kiss, we weren't doing any original music or anything. And, you know, we thought, well, we need a name. So why don't we call it the talisman from kiss meets the Phantom? Yeah. Instead of being M A N, we did M E N. So it's the Talos Men, since there's three of us. And it just kind of took on a life of its own. And they asked us to do the Kiss Cruise. So we did that. Uh, we've done a lot of private events on our own. Right. And a couple, it's usually acoustic, sometimes electric. Uh, you know, we've got something coming up next month that we're going to do. We don't really plan too far ahead for it because it, it's a side thing for right. fun for us. But you know, any opportunity that comes up where someone wants to hire us to come play, we'll take it if we're available, totally. you know, and it also was a thing during COVID when you couldn't go tour. Right. Uh, we started doing that a lot. Uh, we would do it for like different events. Thing? Like, yeah, a streaming right. thing. And it just took on a life of its own. And it was purely labor of love. We didn't set out going, oh, we're going to, you know, tour the world on our own or, or uh, be a new band. Something fun band. to do. Yeah. But, you know, that being said, that's what it turned into. People started hiring us to play everywhere right. and we started doing it. So if, if we're available, we'll do it. But it's not something to where we wake up every day and go, OK, what can we do for the talisman today? Because we have, we have other gigs and stuff like that. So uh, we'll, we'll do some more shows for sure. I don't know when, but right. we'll definitely do something. If we have too much fun to stop it. But there's nothing playing to like recording something like your original, like something like that? No, yet. Uh, not yet, but you know, we've been working on some music for other things. So if we did do something new, the three of us, it probably would not be called the talisman. Okay. But it would, it, but it would definitely involve the three of us because, you know, we work together. So much. Right. Oh, I wanted to ask you, um, have you heard the band uh, Classic 78 or something? Oh, I know them. I know them. They sound great. What, what do you think about it? They sound great. They sound great. I know those guys, Tom Higgins. Right. They, yeah. they nailed it. They nailed it very yeah. well. Didn't they? Oh, it's so good. That's fun. It's fun to it's, watch. So did you did you see the uh, the A and E Kiss biography? Yeah. Okay. It was yes. two parts. Remember? Yeah, two parts. Yes. Uh, the guy Classic Seventy Eight. He did a lot of that music. Oh, really? It yeah. sounds. It sounds for me. I'm like, dude, where this come from? Yeah. Now, now it makes yeah. sense. Yep. Making... They used a lot of his music for that, so I was so happy for him when I heard about that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a great documentary, though. Too bad they really good. didn't want part of that, but hey, I know they I might know. have the reason. I know. But we got to take what we can get, you know. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, um, I question. Um, now on Thursday you're coming out on on tour with Ace, right? It's like a U.S. Yeah. tour. Yep. Okay. We've been touring. Uh, we've been touring all year. Um, we leave again this weekend, right. Thursday. Uh, let's see. I'm flying. Yeah, flying out. We have a couple shows in New York. I mean, the way it usually works is we'll play Thursday through Sunday. Come back home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Leave again. Play a few shows. Come home. So it's usually we play each week. But right. we come home as well, so it's back and forth. Right. Uh, now, when we just did the Alice Cooper tour, we were out for two months. Just right. straight. Yeah. That was a totally I prefer to do that. Yeah. I prefer to do that. Uh, I have – because, you know, when you get in the groove, and once you leave – when you leave for just a few shows, right when you get in the groove, and then you fly home, then you're back home. Right. And then you kind of fall back in the home. Then you're back on the road. I just want to go on the road and stay. Right, no, totally, totally. So that you know that you're on tour and then you go back. Yeah. Yeah. How but that? that being said, but that being said, we, we are touring with Ace the rest of the year, so there's more shows booked. So we'll be back and forth 
and same uh, cell list or you guys are changing something? What's like that? It, same, it is about the same cell list are you guys playing or you this or we weekend, can expect some this weekend. I was gonna say we, we can expect some stranger in the stranger land or some insane or, or some like you know right jam like that. Always up to Ace. Yeah. Uh Ace has got to make the call on it. Now I will tell you the band, we're ready to play all that. Yeah, of course. Uh like we'll, Torpedo I'll Gear be, and, and, and just yeah. naked C D you know, bring him up. <laughs> I'd love to do I would love to do the whole 78 solo album, the whole thing. Right. Just, they, you know, he did that, didn't he? Like, we, we did that. Yeah, yeah. We did that in New Jersey a couple of years ago. Right. Uh, and I love doing that. It'd be fun. Come out and do the solo album. He goes off, and then for the encore, come out and do Shock Me and, you know, uh, yeah, five other from, songs. Yeah, from his solo. You know, Rock Soldiers, Insane, right. all that kind of stuff. You know, do is make sure we do his kiss hits in there as well. Yeah, it would be uh, nice to have some like comments, you know, to that way. I mean, I can yeah. ask, I can only ask. <laughs> oh, I know, like, but you know, I'd, I'd love to do Torpedo Girl again and uh, Save Your Love, right? And uh, you know, just do ya stuff like right. that, you know, you know uh, something move, yeah, yeah, all yeah, yeah kind, totally, all that kind of stuff. So, the, the short answer is uh. Yes, we would do all that stuff, but it's it's up to Ace. It's his set, so whatever totally. he wants to do, that's what we're doing. Totally. Yeah. All right, Ray, I'll show you this. This is a, our magazine. You know, it's a physical magazine, like old school kind of stuff. We're gonna upload this on um, on you know the social media and stuff. I'm gonna edit a little, and then I'll, right. I'll send you the links and stuff. Thank okay. you so much for your time. Thank you so Thank so you. much. Told Ace that I've been playing guitar because of him. Like he never heard that. I will. <laughs> like, he never heard that before. But that's something new. Okay. Somebody told him. Oh, it's it never gets old. So much. <laughs> it never gets old, and I'll tell him for sure. And thank you for having me on the show. It's so nice oh, to see please. you. Please, thank you. And uh, you let me know what to do. I'll promote this however you want me to. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brian. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye, bye, brother. Have a good week. Thank you. I'll see you, you too.